Hey, what is up guys? Man 4 here, and I am back from my vacation to Florida. It's been just over two weeks. I left on December the 16th, and I just got back home uh, a few hours ago now, about noon-ish, and it is January the 1st, so Happy New Year's everyone, 2015. And yeah, so uh, we went on vacation to Florida, me and my family. And so we went to Universal Studios for a few days, and then we just kind of relaxed with my grandparents at a house down in Florida, and it was really nice. So, I have this vlog here for you, documenting what happened on my Florida trip, some of the cool things I did, and it's mostly pictures, I didn't take too many videos, so I'm going to do like a voiceover of the pictures, like explaining what's happening. Uh, so that it's not just like a boring old slideshow with just the pictures rolling along so that you have some context to the pictures. And yeah, so let's not hold that back any longer. Without further ado, here is my Florida trip. Please enjoy. Alright, so first off is of course the ride there. Now I didn't really get that much footage of the ride down. Uh, mainly after we got into Florida, so there's not much of a variety from on the way down. However, as you'll see near the end of the video, um, I did get a bit more footage on the ride up. So what you'll be seeing is some palm trees and uh, dif definitely a different type of climate than it is up here in Canada at this time of year especially. And let me tell you, it was surprisingly, it didn't feel like winter down there because I am used to uh, around zero, uh, below zero temperatures around this time of year and there it was like 15, 20 degrees Celsius, something like that. And so it felt really weird and it was, the, the weather was great, it was uh, sunny except for our last day um, actually uh, in Florida and then our first day of traveling back home. But anyway, so uh, a lot of the stuff you're gonna see at Universal is gonna um, mostly be from the first day because we went around and explored everything first and then the next few days we just did a couple of other stuff. So our, our exploration was mostly the first day and so most of my pictures are from then. But we stayed at a uh, retro hotel called Cabana Bay. It's like 50s, 60s retro style and it was really quite cool. Um, I thought it looked really neat and it was, in, it was a really nice hotel and so you'll be seeing some views of it right now and yeah so right now here is the Universal sign outside of the Universal Studios and so this is our first day right before we enter and we're in the park so we are just kind of wandering about. I didn't take too many pictures of like the outside outside areas. A lot of my pictures are from the Harry Potter world because those are really, really cool and like really well done. And they're really accurate to like movies and stuff. But, but, so there's a Transformers simulation ride. Uh, the simulation rides there were really, really fun. I'm not a big fan of roller coasters, but the simulation rides were great. Anyways, so... Here are some pictures from Diagon Alley. Uh, if you are familiar with Harry Potter, you'll know what Diagon Alley is, of course. And so it, the attention to detail was fantastic. It was really, really cool. And so uh, what's really neat is if you've watched the movies or read the books, you'll know that uh, at Gringotts in the final book slash movie, there's a dragon. And so in Diagon Alley, they've got an actual dragon there, and every so often it'll spit fire, and you can, you can feel the heat, it's great. It was really cool. And so there are all these different shops and stuff from the Harry Potter world uh, in Diagon Alley, and also in the other place, Hogsmeade. But, uh, yeah, and we, we also got a wand, because throughout both of the Harry Potter places, there are a whole bunch of stations to do uh, stuff with the wand, and so we got a wand and we did all that, and it, it was really quite cool, and the attention to detail was great. Anyway, so there's this gigantic Christmas tree there from 
picture, you can't really get a sense of scale because you can't see me, but there's a picture of me and the reflection of one of the Christmas baubles. And so th there's the tree uh, in, a, in a better shot that's easier to see what's going on, uh, how big it is. And th this sign here, I thought it was pretty humorous because of the way it worded uh, worded this. This attraction seat restraints may not accommodate guests with certain body dimensions, but I, I thought that was kind of humorous, the wording. And yeah, so here's some, just some more pictures. This is outside of the Harry Potter world in uh, London, quotes, quotations there. To try and replicate that. And we got to go on the Hogwarts Express as well, um, but I'll get into that a bit later. So across the way is uh, Springfield from The Simpsons. And so uh, there's pretty much a couple of different places that are from The Simpsons cartoon. You've got a plaza of different restaurants and stuff from The Simpsons universe. And then there's also uh, a ride that, take the Simpsons ride, it's a simulation, and it's inside Krusty Land. And so we ate at one of the restaurants for lunch. I ate a Krusty Burger, and so I got this big uh, burger, and it was, I wouldn't say it <laughs> didn't seem very healthy at all. And I, I was, it, it was good, but it was unhealthy, and we also got, um, uh, Lard Lad Donut. Lard Lad is, I guess, a, a brand in the Simpsons universe. Uh, anyway, so then right after that, there was the DeLorean prop from Back to the Future, and I thought that was really neat because I, I really like all like the behind-the-scenes stuff, and I thought it was really cool that the DeLorean prop that was used in Back to the Future, I thought that was really cool. Cause I'm a big fan of like the sci-fi and time travel stuff, and so this is inside the King's Cross station where the Hogwarts Express is. And so you've got a uh, platform nine and three quarters. And what was really neat is in the movies it depicts it as like, because uh, to get to nine and three quarters when you're a wizard and you're trying to get to the Hogwarts Express, you go through one of the walls. And so uh, from the outside, there's this hallway. And if you're standing outside the hallway and you, you can see people walk through and it's like you're going through the wall. So it's really very cool. It was a nice uh, trick, trick with mirrors and it was really neat. So there's the Hogwarts Express. Uh, it was just really cool, really movie accurate. It was so fantastic to see it. And here's Hogsmeade, which is the other Harry Potter place. So, um, yeah, uh, and behind Hogsmeade is Hogwarts Castle. So in Hogsmeade, there's also a whole bunch of shops like in Diagon Alley, uh, but there, there aren't as many. Uh, and then the Hogwarts Castle, you can't really go in it. It's, it downscaled, it's not actually life-size. That would be pretty awesome, but much too expensive. It's actually a simulation ride, which is personally my favorite ride there, and probably one of the, the best rides I've ever been on. And anyway, so here's another area that was beside the Hogsmeade, and another area beside that, and yeah, so a lot of these pictures are just as we're wandering through. So we got Seuss Land with uh, Dr. Seuss, and what was really neat was while we were here, there, um, we actually got to get a picture with the Grinch. So if you're familiar with the live action Grinch movie, this is the Grinch that we met. And the makeup was really well done. And like the, the person who was being the Grinch was, did a really good job. He was really in character and did a great job. He was fantastic. And yeah, so here's all this Dr. Seuss stuff and Seuss landing. And then Jurassic Park Land, which was really quite disappointing because there wasn't too much there. So, yeah, there's like this giant Jurassic Park thing, you know, like from the movie, but that's about it. And yeah, so that's pretty much about it for the Harry Potter, not Harry Potter, Universal Land. And there's also a couple, there were also a couple of uh, nature walks we went on, and we saw some pretty cool nature stuff. And we went to a museum and saw some manatees, which is pretty sweet. I really like manatees and a couple of other things. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rushing through this bit because the video is getting pretty long already. And there's not too much to talk about here. It's pretty much just a whole bunch of nature-y stuff. And it, it, looked, it was really beautiful. It was great. And then on our final day, we went to the beach, which I didn't think I'd be doing in December, nearly January. I didn't think I'd have done that, but 
alas. We went to Florida, we did, because it was warm enough there. But up here, no way, you're not going to the beach in these temperatures. So then there's just the ride home. All right, so that was my trip to Florida. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like the video down below. Don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. So Mergerland 4, over and out. I'll see you guys later.